What's going on guys? Uh, out here at Liberty Station in San Diego and Point Loma. Got the San Diego Bay right over there. Gonna be doing a little video today on comparing some props. So this is my new quad. You may have seen the previous video I uploaded uh, a few days ago. Uh, the XJ470 by Quantum foldable carbon fiber and aluminum frame. Got the uh, Sunny Sky 2212s on there, the 980 KVs. And uh, so the props I'm gonna be testing today are uh, four different ones. So these are the carbon uh, nylon mixed props right here that I have on here now. These are 10 by 45. I also have these same props in 10 by 3.8 or 1038. And I also have the, the two other ones that I have here are carbon fiber uh, 1045s and carbon fiber 1038s. Everything here is made in China. Some of these I got from Hobby King, some of them I got from uh, eBay and Amazon. So these are the 1038s carbon fiber, the uh, 1045s carbon fiber. These over here are the 1038s uh, carbon nylon. And these are the 1045 carbon nylon. So I'm gonna go ahead and start off with these ones that I have on here now. And I'm gonna be using this watt meter right here. I'm gonna connect this to the battery so I can see how many volts and amps and watts I'm pulling from this. So let's get this up in the air. And for this test, I'm going to be using one single battery, the Zippy Compact 25C 5000 milliamp hour battery. And um, I'm not going to be using FPV on this. I'm going to be using the exact same configuration and setup uh, between all four props. The only thing I'm going to change are the props themselves. All right, so the quad just sitting here doing pretty much nothing is pulling 0.44 amps. Uh, 5.44 watts, 5.3, those are the peak numbers. It's at 12.3 volts right now. And uh, just out of curiosity, I have the gimbal plugged in right now. And um, I just kind of hit it with my finger and I, I use the the knob on my transmitter to you know make it uh, tilt up and down. And it really didn't make too much of a difference with the amount of power that it was consuming from the battery. So this gimbal actually uses hardly any power at all to balance that Mobius. Two twenty two watts, two thirty three, two twenty nine. Pulling about nineteen point six amps, twenty amps, twenty point three, twenty one point two. So roughly about twenty amps in hover. All right, so I did do a short burst of full throttle, just about five or ten feet up in the air. Uh, the amperage max it pulled is twenty seven point eight. The watts peak uh, was at 310. So these are the 1045 carbon mixed props. All right, so next up we got the 10 by 3.8 props. Let's see how these do. Two hundred and seven watts, 211, 201 watts, 203. 17.9 amps, 18.5 amps, 17.7, 18.3. So it looks like it's actually using less power compared to the 1045s. Alright, next up we have these carbon fiber 10 by 3.8 props. Let's see how these ones do. Alright, 
All right, last up here, we got these 10 45 carbon fiber props. Last of the four props here. All right, so I here have the props right here. These are the, uh, the carbon mixed props and these are the carbon fiber props. These are the order that I tested these in uh, from left to right. And so these are the 1045s, 1038s, uh, 1038s carbon fiber and 1045 carbon fiber. Um, as far as the power draw goes between all four of these props, uh, there is a difference between the power draw when comparing different pitches. So the 1045s use seem to use a little bit more power than the 1038s. Um, and that's pretty much it. Now, if I compare the 1045 carbon mixed with the 1045 carbon fiber, those use about the same amount of power. Uh, same with these ones, the 1038s and then uh, these 1038s, these two together. Um, the difference between the, the carbon fiber and the carbon mix props uh, is not necessarily the power draw from what I have seen, what I just experienced yesterday, uh, but more of the throttle response. Okay, so going with the straight carbon fiber seemed to get a little bit more like crisp, uh, punchy throttle. You know, if that's something that you're into, if you want like really fast responsive throttle, then that's great. But for me personally, I use a NASA and the NASA really restricts the way the multi-rotor flies. So you really can't use all of the power that's available to you. Um, but that's pretty much what my experience is with these four props. Um, as you can see on my table here, I'm going to be spending some time today balancing all these props because there's quite a few of these that are quite out of balance. So that's what I'm going to be doing. Uh, let me know if you guys have any questions. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And more videos with my XJ470 coming soon.